Hi, welcome to our channel Shah Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a vertical scrolling text within a user form. So first, let's see a very short demo. After that, we will learn how to create this. So here we have the button vertical. So you can see here, uh, text is scrolling up and this text will scroll two times. And after that, we will see three images popping up within the user form. So it is completing its second scrolling. Now you can see these three images are popping up. If you want to change or add any text to within this scrolling text, you can do that. So first, close this one, click stop. And here we will add share your comment with us. Okay, now let's start again. You can see first text, second text, third text, and this is the fourth text we have added. And it will complete two cycle and then images will pop up. So you can scroll it two times, three times. There is no problem. You have to just simply change little code there. So let's close this one and let's learn how to create this. In the previous video, we have learned how to create a scrolling text within cell. Then we have learned a horizontal crawling text within a user form. And today we will learn how to create the vertical scrolling text. If you have not seen this video, please watch this video. The link is given in the I button in the top right corner of the video and in the description box. So first we will type three text here like this. So now we will open the visual basic. Press Alter F11. Now we will open this user form. Okay, so last we have created this one. Now we will create this crawling text that is for vertical. So first increase this. This should be 321 or you can give more height. Okay, now we will create another level. So select this one and create the level. Okay, later we will change the size if we need it. Okay. And we will take three image control. So this is image control. Okay, this one here. Now we can copy this. So I have just copied this. So I have these three image controls and one label control. Now we will open the code for this user form. Right click, view code. So here we will select user form. And then here we'll select initialize. Let's see this one. Okay. Now here we are going to put some code so that whenever this user form initialize, then we will get the text here and these images. Okay. Let's see. Again, go to this code and put this code. So this is me dot level one dot caption sheet one dot range d7 dot value that is the previous one you can see here this is d7 okay first whenever we will initialize the user form this text will be shown at the top in level one that is this is level one and this is level two you can see here the name level two so me dot level two dot caption equal to sheet one dot range o6 dot value so this is o6 dot value this is o7 o o8 so one by one we have given here you can see then here sheet one dot range o7 dot value then o8 then o9 then here o10 but within this we have given and VB CR, CRLF, this is for the line break. So here we have given two line break, one line break and two line break. If you need one line break, then you will get one VB CRLF or two line break for two VB CRLF. So let's 
comment these things and let's run it you can see we got this text now we need to change the color of this so go to user form select this one so here we need the four color appearance four color to be red or you may use any color of your choice then go to font here select a font of your choice here i am taking the same times new roman bold and here 14 okay now let's see again okay we got it we may we want to make it on center so again go here okay first select this one and in the behavior select center so this text will be in center now again run this we can see this is the text if you want to make this font more larger you just again go here in the font select this one okay 20 uh, okay 20 okay now if you run this again you can see large text okay now we need to hide all these things so go to the code here you can see the label two dot top that means when this text will initialize this label will be below this user form so that is why we took the top position of this label as the height of this user form now image 1 image 2 and image 3 these three image controls here you can see these are these three image control and these three image control will load with three pictures so these are the images you can see here these three are the images image img1 img2 and img3 these all are jpg images now here we load these image controls with load picture this workbook dot path that means this is the workbook and the path of this workbook and the image path is same that is why you have given this path and the name of this images so here you can see this workbook dot path and within quotation backslash img1 dot jpg quotation close bracket close same for all three controls and when this user form will initialize these three controls image controls will be hidden that is why we have given me dot img1 dot visible equal to false and all image 2 also false ms3 is also false now if i play you can see this is visible and the level 2 is just below this user form because it is the top position of the level 2 is the as same as the height of the user form that is why you cannot see that and these image controls are hidden now we need to scroll that level 2 upward so for that we need another code so let's see so here we have code for horizontal scroll so now here we need to create a code for a vertical scroll okay this is the code for vertical scroll so vertical scroll sorry uh, underscore okay now here call user form one dot show vb modeless so we already discussed this one now here do so we have started a loop i equal to user form one dot height minus 30 so the we declared the value of i is equal to the, the height of user form minus 30 so press f8 so you can see all these are loaded that means we this one is initialized now you can see here the value of i became 291 now we just want to decrease the value of i because 
the top position of the level 2 must be decreased so that it goes up that is why i equal to i minus 1 2 event so we have given this we have also discussed in case of horizontal here so i am not discussing this one so after that user form 1 dot level 2 dot top equal to i so it will change the position of level 2's top position and again it will go to here and run this one then after this if the value of i becomes 50 then it will move here that means as it moves to the position 50 it will stop so approximately this position is 50 so whenever the level come to this position then it will stop and again goes back to bottom and started scroll from bottom so that's why i have given if i equal to 50 then go to next z so we have given next z here and here we have given x equal to x plus 1 and if x equal to 2 then go to next x that means if the value of x became 2 so whenever it comes here then it will pass this line so the value of x will be 1 because here now the value of x is empty so as it passes the value of this x will be 1 so if the x equal to 2 so first time it is 1 so it will not go to next x it will come to this line and it will loop again here so it will again run the same code then it will come here it, it will become 2 because previously it was 1 then 1 plus 1 2 then it will come to next x that means 2 loop is complete then it will come to this one for images so if you want to crawl the text more than two times then you can put here 3 5 10 or anything so here i have kept only two as it is completed two then it will come to next x and it will start the looping of the images so here again we started a loop do user form dot image one dot visible equal to false that means first the image three will be false image one will be visible you can see here we have given true that means out of these three images only image one will be visible after that it will do event that means it will take some time and i equal to i plus one so after it completes this one it will come here next then it will move again again and again then it will come to this line after that it will start then the user form dot image one will be visible equal to false and image 2 will be true and here image 2 is false and image 3 is visible equal to true in this way it will loop again and again and i have not given any condition for stop because here in case of the level 2 i have given it will continue up to two loop but here i have not given any loop that's why it will not stop so this is the code for this user form so now we can initialize this so click on play you can see click here click the like button subscribe our channel share this video this is the first loop then this is the second loop as the second loop will complete it then the images will pop up so here we can see these images are not showing up correctly and the images control also have some border so close this we will fix this one so go here again open the user form select all these three and remove the border so here border let's see border style sorry this is back style border style here will no border this border style none so no border and the images so here go to picture and here picture size mode will take stretch as you can see this is stretch okay we will start from the code okay here play now you can see this is the first loop this is the second loop now you can see the image is showing up without border and if you want to add more text because we have taken these five cells 06 to 010 so we can also add here the values that will also show up here and in the next tutorial i will show you 
how to create a floating text within this worksheet as you can see here this text is rotating and here if I select it will float in this way horizontally and if you click spin it will start spin and if you click on seesaw it will do a seesaw movement and here you can see we have with x y z here if you put a value then it will move like this if you give here 10 it will move faster 5 0 here if I give 10 you can see so we will learn this on the next tutorial so I hope you have understood today's tutorial very well but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section I will surely help you out if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial